I squeeze first, ask questions last. That's how most of these so-called gamers pass. Yes, it's me, your boy Jimmy B Gaming with your daily video. Okay, let's talk about the PC hate that's been going on lately, especially from the Xbox community. Now, you know me as an Xbox advocate. I can't have this shit be. I can't have this shit in these gaming streets, okay? So I'm here to speak up, okay? You Xbox dudes that be hating on PC, stop disrespecting your daddy, you hear me? Stop disrespecting your pops, aight? Let's get straight to the point here. A lot of people making all kinds of speculative, uninformative, un anything comments about PC. And I'm sitting here saying to myself, my man Kid Smooth over there said the wild shit about how uh, PC gaming is not competitive and PC gamers don't have any skills. And I'm just over here with the wide open emoji face like, what? What did you just say, my man? Oh, uh, we can't have you out here in these streets talking shit like that. But anyway, I digress. This video is not a response to him. It's a response to the Xbox community because half of y'all got PCs and y'all still hate it, man. So I'm going to get into this real quick. I'm going to break it down for y'all fools out there. And I hopefully, you know, get y'all on the right track. And, y'all, you know, all I want to tell y'all is next year I want them Father's Day cards. Okay, juniors? All right, so let's get into it. Let me sign y'all real quick, you know, intellectually. Okay. PC gaming is unenjoyable to most of y'all if, and I'm, I'm going to break it down because I was in this situation. If you can't really afford to swing like that, dog, you know, you stepping with the big dogs. A lot of people will get you to think that because you can afford a PC, you'll enjoy PC gaming. A lot of people will tell you, yo, your first PC, get a get a crappy one. I disagree with all of that because my first PC was a crappy one because I was living a crappy life. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, you know, I'm balling it. No, I'm just playing. But the bottom line is my first pc was crap and i hated a, i hated a lot of pc gaming elements about it until i was able to upgrade when i was able to upgrade and get the pc that i felt i wanted that could give me the bells and the whistles you know it's like getting a civic but you know everybody got a civic civics is affordable but mine's got the super charger you get me so when i pull up at the light and you got the same civic as me and i don't hear that whistle i know you ain't got the super turbo charger dog so you can't fuck with me you get what i'm saying so it's the same situation here so with PC gaming, man, it's like, yo, you could get the PC that's the Civic or you get the PC that's the Ferrari. It's really about what you like, man. It's about how you feel comfortable. A lot of y'all that's complaining about PC gaming, and especially you, Kids Move, you have a 980 Ti. That's more than adequate enough to be not talking to smack you talking. You're supposed to be signature in that Father's Day call for this PC shit. You understand me? So I guess this is kind of turning into a reply to Smooth, but um yeah it's, it's just my way of explaining to you like look if you got a uh amd pc amd performs much different than nvidia now i'm gonna sound like an nvidia fanboy but y'all know on my channel i keep it 100 so if that's what i'm gonna sound like that's what i'm gonna sound like even though that's not the case because i still have my amd pc and i still have my video pc and i still use both okay and i still game on my amd pc so with that being said i'm actually looking to upgrade my amd pc but we'll see what happens i kind of doubt it but anyway um so when I was gaming on my mid-tier PC, I wasn't able to do 60, 1080p max, and it was feeling a lot like console, so I was like, you know what, what's the point? Might as well just stick to console. But then when I started touching those resolutions and those frames that console couldn't hit, that's when I was like, okay, I see where we're going with this. I see what's happening. I see what they're doing. I see what these PC motherfuckers is talking about. I see why they be on that bullshit, dog. I see it now. So with that being said, I'm just letting y'all know, man, you know, you got to see it for yourself before you knock it. It's like crack, man. They tell you don't do drugs. Don't do 4K PC gaming because once you do that crack, dog, rehab can't save you. That's so all I'm going to tell you. Once you do that crack, you're going to be signing all the Father's Day cards. So you Xbox dudes, don't be ignorant is what I'm saying. I mean, at the end of the day, I understand all the hate for PC. Y'all mad. We got y'all games. Windows 10 is destroying Xbox Live. It is Xbox Live on steroids. It's Xbox Live back in the early 90s or late 80s when Arnold Schwarzenegger was the Terminator. It's that type of shit going on. I get it. But you guys got to stop hating, man, and just get with the new wave 
unfortunately at this current moment until scorpio drops there's no need to have an xbox one i'm sorry i'm, I'm sorry every game that xbox is dropping is coming out crossplay look at recore recore is a crossplay i immediately had no problem purchasing that because i know if i really want to get nasty with it i could go play 4k and shit on xbox games all day long so like i said there's a lot of ignorance in the comments that are being made now people are getting mad at pc gamers we as pc gamers like to come in and correct you guys and for some reason y'all get offended but you act like the Xbox com the economy was doing well enough to survive without PC. Look at Quantum Break sales. I brought this up before. Quantum Break barely did 200,000. And, you know, Remedy was like, look, if we can't go to PS4, can we at least go to PC? Can we get some of that money? But then Windows 10 monopolized that whole situation. And, you know, we ended up where we ended up at. But at the end of the day... The incentive is there for PC gamers to buy games. They are buying a lot of games. Um, my Steam library is at what? About 300 strong right now. And that's that's one account. I have another account. And I have Origin account with games. And, you know, I just got a, a, a Grog account. You know, I, I mean, we, we out here. We out here, dog. We out here. We are out here. So saying that to say, it's levels to this. Like gaming, a lot of y'all say y'all don't care about frames and resolution. But then y'all over here campaigning for the Xbox Scorpio, which makes no sense. I'm going to touch on that real quick too now. Y'all Xbox dudes that's advocating for the Scorpio really need to cut your shit and chill. Because look, you could say all you want that the Scorpio is going to be this teraflop, that teraflop. That's fine. That's cool. But how expensive do you think they're going to make this shit to buy? Are you going to buy a PC that says Xbox Scorpio on the box? Because... Now we're having rumors of eight teraflops. Come on, B. Cut it the fuck out. Cut it the fuck out. We're not going to go from the teraflops in the Xbox One to eight. There's no way that's going to be anywhere near affordable. Because now you're talking about a $1,000 machine. Because you're going to need a beefy CPU for that as well. And you have to get some good RAM in there. You know, a lot of games are already saying eight gigs is like pff, the minimum. Pff, eight gigs, please. And you know why? Because of memory leak. Memory leak is something that's been playing in PC games and a lot of people don't talk about it. I don't know if they don't know what it is, but Arkham Knight, that was the main culprit for the problem with Arkham Knight. A lot of people didn't know that it was a memory leak issue in Arkham Knight that was causing that game to crash because it was swallowing memory like a $2 whore on Friday night. All right? So it's just keeping it real. So with that being said, you guys need to really chill on the Xbox versus PC shit because PC is Xbox daddy. And if you never tried to play with your father, don't disrespect your father. Saying that to say, if you didn't try what PC has to offer, and I'm talking about what it has to offer that console does not, then you will not understand what I'm saying. If you play at the same settings or around the same settings as what your console is doing, then yeah, you not you don't need a PC. Let's just be honest. Why do you need a PC to play 1080p at 30 frames or 1080p even at 60 frames? 60 frames or 30 frames, nine day difference. But it's not enough to make you go out and spend what an Xbox costs twice. It's just, I'm just going to be honest about that. But if you want to play 1440p, which is 2K, or what they used to call uh, SHD, but now you know they got SUHD. So, you know, I, I'm not going to get y'all too caught up right now because I know y'all be like, what? But anyway, at the end of the day, if you're going to play 1440p, 144 hertz, 144 frames per second, yes, these are real numbers. You're gonna go, holy shit, I can't touch a console again. And I'm gonna be honest, it will spoil you, it will fuck up your life, because you will never be able to go back to your console and look at it the same. You're gonna look at your console as that dirty, dirty lady who touched that little boy. It's gonna be disgusting to you. So, with that being said, unless you ever tried it, don't knock it. And I'm gonna warn you, all that shit you talk, don't ever take that first hit. Because if you take that hit, you're gonna be hooked. I'm telling you. Anyway. It's your boy Jimmy B Gaming. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment in the comment section below. Give me your thoughts on this because, hey, it is what it is. It's the truth I just told. And if you don't like it, tell me you don't like it. If you do like it, tell me you like it. Let me know what you think. And for those of you that's going to say, oh, I have a PC. No. Remember what I said. 2K, 1440p, and above. 60 frames and above. If you have not played this then don't speak at all because you don't know what you're talking about. It's your boy Jimmy B. Gaming. I'm out of here later.